So my daughter got me these sardines and I figured I would try them at some point because I've never had sardines. I've had kipper snacks like Tanner here says. That's actually good because it's just a fillet of fish in a can, right? Or smoked oysters are real good. Something but, like that. Yeah, sardines. Huh? Kipper snacks are great warmed up. Oh, I yeah, bet. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. Well, this isn't going to be warm. Dave, what do you think of these things? Uh, they should be used for bait. Yeah, he thinks they should be bait. So, could you hold that for me? Of course. So, if they're good, then I'll I'll pass them out. But if they're not any good, then Oh, man. That didn't look, that did not look good. And Hungary's a pretty good cook, we say. Oh, yeah. Oh, goodness. Well, smell like fish the rest of the day. Look at that. I'm going to pour that out. It's good bear bait. Perfect, perfectly cut herring right there. Yeah. So it kind of looks. Is that a survivor? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't actually look like a full. <laughs> Ugh. It's 9 p.m. and we it haven't eaten since yesterday, so. That does not look appetizing. Mm. Does it? Yeah. Let me try one. Not bad. It's not, no. It's like, it's fish. Edible. Fishy. Yeah. It's very oily. Good for you. You think it's, well, it's probably. Protein, probably... oils, fats, all mixed yeah. into one. Yeah. Yeah. Whoops. Maybe some organs. There's a few organs. Huh? Yeah. Cure what ails you. It's not bad. Good for moles, coals, sore holes, fits, farts, and freckles. <laughs> like some napkins or something. You want some? You want, you want some? Okay. He'll take a bite. You bet. They're pretty good. You got your own knife? Or? Yeah, I do. You probably don't want to eat off my knife. <laughs> it's hard to get them. Just, yeah, just, just spear one. Just don't stab your tongue. Okay? Good <laughs> lord. It takes some practice to figure this out how to eat them. That's good. Scott, you want to try one? No, I'm really comfortable. Are you? I can come over there. Scott wants a white macadamia mm -hmm. chocolate chip cookie. Let me eat this one because that I don't mind them at all. You want one, Tanner? I'd love one. I like fish. What do we got? Cow coming out. Cow. You got a knife? I sure do. It's a little easier and yeah. less to get that oil all over you. Thanks for Get her. sharing. Yeah. Get her. Oh, there you go. Shake that. Nice and there flaky. You go. I, don't, I don't think it's bad at all. I think it's pretty good. Not what I expected. I thought that would be pretty. I thought that would probably be pretty bad, but. Yeah, you start with low expectations and it's. Well, exactly. Good. Yes, I started with pretty dang low expectations <laughs> so that may have helped but scott if you want to try some i will save you a little no okay dave you want a little bite <laughs> leave it here come back and shoot a bear tomorrow when he smells the yeah. oil all yeah that's right i'm gonna finish oh, yeah. these up actually unless one of you wants some more here you take yeah, a little I'll try a little more i did enjoy it yeah. No lie. You want you want some more? You do? Jay, you want some more? I'm good, thank you. That was actually really good. And it doesn't really clean off your hands very well. It's kind of like bacon grease. Scott says I'm making it sound better all the time. <laughs> so if you got oil on your hands, you can find some sand. Find some sand you can use it to clean pans with too or gravel. A lot better. <clears throat> what's it what's that stuff called that you wash your hands with that's got grit in it? It's like the orange or yeah, the orange. It's like the original orange stuff. If you grab some... Go, gojo, isn't it? Gojo. Yeah, gojo. Yeah, if you grab some sand, 
and just wash the scrub the crap out of your hands it will take the it'll actually take the dirt off and a little grease or oil careful there buddy <laughs> <clears throat> well how long do you think it'll take them to get all paired up now dave could take a day sounds like forever doesn't it because yeah. they're still balling like crazy out there <laughs> We just ate some sardines, but now we're gonna have some wag wagyu beef wag bites, which are probably a little they're a little more mainstream, let's say, right? Wouldn't you say? I would say definitely. <laughs> definitely you prefer those to I the I definitely prefer those to sardines. Kyle prefers those to the sardines for sure. Good. Dave even eats this stuff because it's it's actual beef, so I was telling Scott though, he was saying that the what were you saying? You need to do a redneck thing like your you food might not be good if your food not, might not be good if you have to wash your hands off with mud in the stream. <laughs> I was thinking like real man, you know, if you got your you might be a real man if you eat sardines in the mountains and then have to wash your hands off in the stream full of cow crap and mud. But the, the two that didn't eat the sardines didn't think that was a very good idea. So this you was, want some, Dave? This was red meat at one time, huh? This is what? Red meat at one time? This is red meat, yeah. Thank you better you. take a couple of them. Oh yeah, they were good. This isn't the cranberry and jalapeno ones. It's be it's original, so it's beef beef with a purpose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of mm -hmm. good. You like those, don't you? Well, yeah. Those are regular. So not even the I weird ones. Try not to grab the Yeah, your son grabbed the, the packaging thing. Uh -huh. so good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I caught him before he ate it. <laughs> and before you think he's good. That's what real men eat is. Oh, oh yeah. Horse now, flies. if you eat that, that would be, you know, decent content. I don't think he's done it. For... <laughs> Tanner's... He's, he's thinking about it, but I don't think he's going to. That's I wouldn't eat I mean, that it's thing. it's still alive. It's probably full of blood. Horse blood. Horse blood. Horse cow blood. And cow, oh my goodness, look at that. He just chewed that thing up. <laughs> what does it taste like? Wagyu bites. Because <laughs> that's what you have residual in your mouth? <laughs> or you missed? <laughs> that was what he actually had in his hand. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I would hope he didn't actually eat that thing. Oh, he ate it. <laughs> look at that. Ugh. Yeah, it's even got some blood on the end of his finger there. That is... Talking, speaking of the real man thing, that might have took the cake there, I don't know. Measure of a man. WD? Oh my goodness, that's not good. There's the jump. Yep. The measure of a man's not what he eats. The, exactly. It's what he is. And his, his uh, ability to take on responsibility for what he does. Yep, provide, protect, responsibility. Eating horse flies has nothing to do with it. Right. Well, it, That's just it's one way or the other. It doesn't really, it might even actually make you not very smart, but <laughs> <laughs> so it's not really the measure of a man. 